Okay. All right, so we're gonna be learning today about parallel, perpendicular, and intersecting lines, okay? So last week we did learn what a line is. Okay, basically it is a straight line and it has two arrows on each side, meaning it just keeps on going and going, okay? It doesn't stop, all right? So we're gonna learn today what are, first of all, parallel lines. Parallel lines are pretty easy, okay? It, basically, it's one line and another line, okay? And they never touch. Parallel lines, they don't like each other. They never touch, they're not friends, okay? Now, the thing about this too is they always keep the same distance in between. They never get closer to each other, okay? So they can just keep on going and going and never intersect, okay? All right, do we understand parallel lines? Okay, so here's, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the poster. This is parallel lines, this is the way they look. They can go any direction. They can go sideways, they can go up and down, they can go diagonal, okay? You can have a little line next to a bigger line, that's okay too, okay? As long as the space in between will always stay the same. They just keep on going and going. They never touch each other. All right, thumbs up if you understand parallel lines. Thumbs up, good. Julian, good. Okay, so they, they're two lines that never touch and the distance between them stays the same. They never get closer to each other. Parallel lines don't like each other, okay? They're not friends. All right, my next two lines are the opposite, actually. They like each other, okay? So you have one going across, and then you have another one going up and down vertically, just like this, okay? So I made a line going across and I made a line going up and down, okay? These are called perpendicular. Now, the cool thing about a perpendicular, about perpendicular lines, is that they make four right angles, okay? They make four right angles. Remember, a right angle basically is an angle that is 90 degrees, okay? So if you notice, this one right here, this right angle is right here. Y'all see that? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that little square in the corner, okay? That shows me that's 90 degrees. All right, another right angle is over here. It's a backwards L. Okay, that measures 90 degrees, okay? I can actually turn my board and do it again, okay? So now I have 90 degrees over here. That's another right angle on this side. And then I have another right angle on the other side, okay? So no matter which way I turn it, I'm gonna have four right angles. Okay, the easiest way to remember the perpendicular lines is it's gonna make a cross, a, bit, a very perfect lowercase t, okay? No matter which way I move it, it's gonna make a perfect t, okay? So those are perpendicular lines. All right, thumbs up if you understand that. It makes good, they touch, they like each other but they make four perfect right angles, okay? Here's the poster here. So perpendicular lines uh, will cross to make right angles. Okay, there's four right angles. See this picture right here? It looks like it's an X, okay? And if you turn it the correct way, it's gonna go ahead and make that lowercase t or that cross, okay? All right, my next word, is going to be intersecting lines. These are fun because as long as they touch, inter, they are going to be intersecting. Okay, so intersecting lines. You can draw a line. Oh my gosh, my phone keeps going off and off. Um, you're gonna make a line and then make another line anywhere you want as long as they touch. 
that's it. Those are intersecting. They're touching each other. Okay. As long as don't make the four right angles. Don't make a T, a perfect T, okay? Because if you do, then they're called uh, perpendicular. But these, they're just touching the intersecting lines. They like each other. Okay, they're best friends, right? They have to touch. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way you draw them. They can go any way you want. As long as they're touching, they are intersecting. Okay. All right, thumbs up if you understand that. If you don't, you can go ahead and raise your hand. We're good, as long as they touch. Roger, you got it, Roger? As long as they touch, they're intersecting, okay? All right, Julian, hold on, Julian. Go ahead, Julian. Um, I somehow found, like, how to raise your hand. Uh, where is that at? You just press the participants. Uh-huh. And, and then they show raise hand. Oh, okay, cool. I'm ready. Or you can just do this, too. I can see you. It doesn't matter which one, okay? Okay. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and do something on the geo board here. Okay, you have, Christopher, can you see me? All right, here's my geo board, okay, and I have three rubber bands on there. I have a pink one, I have a green one, and I have a blue one, okay? I'm gonna ask you a question and I'm gonna call on you, so be ready, okay? Tell me the two colors of rubber bands that are parallel. Okay, I'm gonna call on Christopher. I'm gonna unmute you, Christopher. Okay, Christopher, what two colors are parallel? The green and the blue. Very good. The green and the blue because they never touch. Parallel lines are not friends. Okay, they are not friends. They don't like each other. All right. So they just keep on going and going, and the space in between will stay the same. Okay. All right. Next one. Let's get. Give me two colors that intersect. Give me two colors that intersect. Uh, let's go with Victoria. Give me two colors that intersect. Purple and blue. Good, okay, so right here, my purple and my blue are intersecting. They're touching each other, okay? But they don't make that perfect T. If they did, they would call, be called perpendicular, okay? All right, give me two more colors that intersect. Intersect. Roger. I want to do this one. Roger, give me two colors that intersect. We have the blue and the purple this way, or pink. Okay, so we have blue and pink intersected. What other colors intersect? No. She's talking to you, right? No. What other colors intersect? What colors intersect? Interesting. Blue, blue, green. Okay, so let's see. My blue and green. If they intersect, they have to touch each other because they like each other. They're touching each other? No, they're not so, touching so each, other. Touch each other. Purple and blue. Green. Okay, so my purple, my purple and blue intersect. Good, they touch each other. Are there any two other colors that intersect? Colors. Which other one? I don't know. Green? Yeah, okay, so green is touching which one? The purple one. Purple, good. That's intersecting right here, okay? My green and my purple are touching, they're intersecting. Okay, all right, I'm gonna kind of move these around and you're gonna tell me, let's see. Okay. okay. All righty. Um, Julian, which two colors are perpendicular to each other? 
Unmute yourself, Julian. Okay. Which ones are perpendicular to each other? The purple and green. Purple and green. Purple and green make a perfect T. Okay. And this is a right angle. This is a right angle. So is this one. And so is this one. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Next one. Christopher. Oh, I lost you, Christopher. Okay. All right, Christopher, um, which two are intersecting? Which two colors are intersecting? Blue and purple. My blue and my purple are intersecting. Good. They're touching each other. Okay. My blue and purple. What other two colors, Victoria, are intersecting? Mm. Christopher? Blue and purple. Purple. Which one? Blue and purple. Okay, that's something Christopher said. He said the blue and the purple are intersecting. What other two colors are intersecting? Blue and purple. I meant green and purple. Green. green and purple? Okay, so green and purple are not intersecting. They are, but it's actually perpendicular. They're making a cross. Okay, the ones that are intersecting are my green and my blue. They're touching each other, okay? So even though green and purple are touching each other, they make a really perfect T. So we call that perpendicular, okay? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the gold math lesson for today. So we can see a little bit more. Before you start this lesson, you are gonna watch a video. Please make sure you watch it, okay? It's called uh, Parallel Types of Lines. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a song to kind of help you guys, okay? So make sure you're watching that. All right, let's go into the link. Julian, can you see me? Okay, when you click on it. <clears throat> All right, here's the Go Math. And here are some examples. It'll give you the definition of what intersecting lines are. These are intersecting, okay? My parallel and my perpendicular. Now, the only thing about this one is they gave you letters, okay? So let me go ahead and stop really quick so y'all can see. Okay, so let's say I have these are intersecting lines. Okay, these are intersecting lines. All they do on Go Math is they name the lines. They give them some names. So for this one, I'm gonna name it A and B. That's line A, B, okay? Now I'm gonna put letters on the other line. We'll name this line uh, X and Y, okay? Now the letters don't matter, okay? Don't get confused by that. The letters don't really matter. They're just letters, okay? They just name it. Okay, so I can say line A and B is intersecting with line X and Y. Okay, does that make sense? All you do is name the line. It's like, it's like you have a name, okay? You're a boy that has a name. You're a girl that has a name. This is a line that has a name. That's it, okay? Now, where do they meet? You can see this also. Where do they meet? Right there, where do they meet? they'll probably put another letter on there too. That's where they meet. We just say they meet at point Z, okay? They meet at point Z, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do another one really quick to show you an example of the perpendicular and how that looks. And then we'll move on, okay? All right, so perpendicular, again, it's just my, my cross, my uh, lowercase t, okay? I'm gonna make a perfect one going up and a perfect one going sideways, okay? That's perpendicular, all right? So I wanna name these. So give me two letters, and they have to be um, next to each other in the alphabet, okay? So Christopher, give me two letters in the alphabet that are next to each other so I can name one of my lines. B and C. Okay, one name it B. And we'll name this one C, just like that, 
Okay. Now let's name my horizontal one, the one that's going across. Um, Victoria. Any two letters in the alphabet that are next to each other. Sorry, do it again, Victoria, say it again. Q and R. Okay, so Q goes here and then R goes here. Okay, so I can say line B and C is perpendicular to line Q and R. Okay, where they meet, they meet right here. Okay, we can put any letter, we'll say X. They meet at point X. Okay, thumbs up if you understand that. You got it, Christopher? Okay, so remember the letters don't really matter. You're just, you're just naming the, the line, that's all it is. Okay, so on Go Math, they're gonna ask you, can you draw line QR? That's the way they write it. Can you write line QR? And can you make it perpendicular? Here's my little symbol. That's my symbol for perpendicular. Can you make it perpendicular to line BC? Just like that. Okay, so you're gonna see like a little symbol that looks like this. That means perpendicular. It'll kind of look like it has two right angles in there. So that kind of helps you. Okay, it has two little right angles in there. Okay, and let's practice parallel really quick. I think I spelled parallel wrong. Yep, it's one R. Parallel lines. Okay, I'm gonna draw some parallel lines. Remember, they don't touch, they don't like each other. They're not friends. Okay, so um, let's name our perpendicular lines. I'm sorry, parallel lines here. Um, Julian. Give me two letters that are next to each other in the alphabet for my first line. That are next, we what? Give me two letters in the alphabet that are next to each other. So I can name A and B. Okay, we'll do A, B. All right, so we have A and we have B. Just like that, okay? Christopher, give me two more to name this line right here. B and Z. Can you, uh, they have to be next to each other in the alphabet. C, D. Okay, C and D. Okay, so now when I say it, Line B is parallel to line CD. That's it. That's what you say it. Okay. I want you to draw it and go math. They're going to do it like this. Line, draw a line A and B. Draw a line A and B parallel to line C and D. Just like this. This means parallel. Okay. So you would just draw those two lines like that. All righty. Okay, you're going to start on your own. Okay, what I want you to do first is watch that little YouTube video with the song, and then you're going to go straight into your Go Math lesson. And if you need me, I will be here to answer any questions, okay? Now, you're not going to finish it today. Don't finish it. It's a lot of work on Go Math, okay? So just do a couple of questions, and then you can just exit out and do the rest tomorrow, okay? Don't do all of it today. Do we do like six of them? So let's see what we have here. I don't want you to do the whole thing. because. All right, so we have, go ahead and look at, this is the vocabulary, okay? Here's that symbol I told you guys, the two lines, that equals parallel. And this symbol right here, that equals perpendicular. All right, so it does give you a map. You gotta figure out which lines are intersecting, parallel or perpendicular. And we have one, two, three pages, four pages. Okay, so go ahead and just do for the first one, 
Um, go ahead and do the bottom of this one, 461. And then I would go into this one right here, the next one. That's page uh, 462. All right, just do those two for today. Don't do the rest, it'll be too much work for y'all. All right. And for this one, you can open it with Cami. So some of y'all might have the K where it says open with Cami. Okay, some of you guys might have where you have to download it. But as long as you see that blue K, little box, just open it up and you guys can write on Go Math. Okay. I know some of y'all have also been printing it too, which is funny. All right, do you guys have any questions? I know that was a lot in a very little time, okay? So if you need some help, let me know, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, we're good? We're good? Victoria, you okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, 